Indian scientists hope that both vehicles of the Chandrayaan-3 mission will be able to continue working after the lunar night is over. Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. NASA's orbiter took a photo of India's Vikram lander, which was put into sleep mode after completing its mission. The lander delivered the Pragyan lunar rover to the moon, which was also shut down. Indian scientists remain hopeful that both vehicles will be able to survive the very cold night on the moon and continue their research mission again. The photo of the Vikram lander on the moon from the Indian Chandrayaan-3 mission was taken by the LRO orbiter. The image shows a dark rectangular shadow of the lander surrounded by a bright halo, which is the result of the interaction of engine exhaust with lunar regolith, NASA said. After almost two weeks on the moon, Indian scientists put the Prayan lunar rover into sleep mode on September 2nd, and on September 4th, the Vikram lander, which delivered the lunar rover to the Earth's satellite on August 23rd, also shut down. However, the Indian Space Research Organization hopes that both vehicles will still be able to continue their research after the cold night on the moon is over. Indian scientists have said that both spacecraft could wake up as early as September 22nd and continue their work. However, there is no guarantee that this will happen as these spacecraft are not equipped with thermal protection that would protect them from extremely low temperatures during the lunar night. On the moon, day and night are approximately 14 Earth days long. When it is daytime on the moon, spacecraft can operate normally due to the fact that their batteries are charged by sunlight, which becomes very scarce during the lunar night. Scientists believe that the southern polar region of the moon, where the Indian spacecraft are currently located, contains large reserves of water ice. This is a very important resource that will help maintain a long-term human presence on the moon. In particular, the extracted oxygen and odium can be used to make rocket fuel, which will make it possible to reduce the cost of missions to the moon. That is why NASA astronauts from the Artemis 3 mission will land in this region in 2025, Chandrayaan-3 mission, a timeline of the events. On August 23rd, the Vikram lander carrying the Pragyan lunar rover successfully landed on the lunar surface as part of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. On August 24th, the lunar rover set off to explore the lunar surface, and India even showed a video of how it happened. A few days later, Indian scientists reported that their lunar landers had for the first time provided accurate data on the surface temperature of a region located near the South Pole. Prior to that, such measurements had been made only from the moon's orbit. The Indian lunar rover also used its instrument to study the chemical composition of the upper layer of the moon's surface in this region and confirmed the presence of sulfur for the first time. A few days before the end of its mission, the lunar rover sent images of the Vikram lander to Earth. On September 2, Indian scientists turned off the lunar rover's instruments after 10 days of work on the moon, although it was originally planned to work for 14 days. Also, the lunar rover was able to travel only 100 meters on the moon instead of the planned 500 meters. Was this video interesting for you? Please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.